A ceasefire violations by Pakistan continuing unabated. There has been fresh firing from across the international border just a day after Pakistan shelled 25 PSF posts across four sectors for 10 hours, hitting civilian areas as well in uh, in the night. Uh, and in fact, uh, long rounds of firing also going on. And the latest round of shelling has been reported from the Abdulian sector of RS Pura. Several BSF posts were targeted in heavy firing that continued for an hour last night. There have been over 200 ceasefire violations this year, more than 150 in just the last two months alone. And the heavy Pakistani firing comes uh, ahead of Home Minister Sushil Kumar Shinde's visit this morning to the forward Indian post in Samba sector of Jammu and Kashmir. Now, Samba is among several sectors that has come under one of the worst shellings by Pakistani troops in the last 10 years. Pakistani troops fired at uh, Indian posts at 25 locations on uh, the international border on two consecutive nights. Shinde's visit comes in the backdrop of over 200 ceasefire violations by Pakistan this year. Well, my colleague uh, Zafar Iqbal uh, now joining us uh, for more on that. Zafar, we just saw pictures there of uh, uh, the Home Minister arriving in uh, Samba to take stock of that uh, security situation. Just take us through what's on the agenda today. Well, that's right. He's reached Samba and now he's... Uh He's here in the BSF headquarters where he is meeting with the top uh, BSF officers. Uh, Chief Minister Omar Abdullah is also present. They are discussing with told by our sources uh, the recent escalation along the international border, the frequencies, fire violations that are taking place in almost all the sectors and also the shelling and firing that is, uh, that's, uh, that's happening into the village We're close to the uh, international border. All those issues are being discussed at the moment. The meeting is taking place. Uh, top officers of the BSF and uh, and the army are present there and they are discussing all those issues and from here he goes to Hiranagar uh, police station uh, in between there is a small function there is a he will be uh, he will be addressing uh, meeting uh, the jawans of the army there is a sanik sammelan uh, but that's a brief uh, that's for a brief uh, time and then he'll be going uh, to Hiranagar where he will be uh, visiting the police station which uh, uh, was the target of fidain uh, last month uh, many people were killed there and from Hiranagar, he goes back to Jammu, where uh, there is this security review meeting in which chief minister, top military and civil uh, officers will also be present. Uh, the, the entire security situation of the state will be discussed, the escalation uh, along the line of control and the border, as well as the rising militant, uh, militancy incidents across the states. All those issue, uh, issues will come up in the discussions later. Bani? All right, uh, Zafar, uh, indeed a hugely significant visit there of uh, uh, the Home Minister uh, in uh, Samba in uh, Jammu and Kashmir to take stock of the security situation. In fact, uh, lots of reactions coming in. Uh, uh, the Union Home Minister, uh, the un uh, in fact, uh, Union Minister Shashi Tharoor has also spoken on uh, uh, the ceasefire violations that we've seen by Pakistan uh, this year, uh, warning them not to underestimate the Indian Army. I don't think anyone should underestimate the Indian Army. We are very capable. Uh, in terms of the defense of our borders, and I have no doubt that um, the Indian Army is more than able to give as good as it gets if necessary. Having said all of that, uh, when you raise concerns about Pakistan's claims on Kashmir, these are consistently uh, uh, claimed since 1947, and there's no real uh, new element there. They have said this for some time, and we have rejected it equally vehemently. And as far as uh, our position is concerned, it remains that Kashmir is an integral part of India.